So we started talking about a thought, you know, like a thought arises, mm. like this is the beginning of the drama, mm. right? A thought arises. But in a way, a different thought arises in you than arises in me and everyone else. Mm. And so then we call it karma, like uh, we're on, there's a momentum of our life or something. Mm. Mm. That our life is going in a certain in a certain direction or mm. a way or mm. you know certain experiences mm. seem to come mm. and whether it's fixed or not fixed. Mm. But anyhow, where you know this certain thought arises, why? I mean, is it you know? I mean, is it built in the body or something like that or in the cells or there's certain there's a certain you know my cells are different than yours. Mine are you know fixed or, or cramped or uh, not flowing like mm. yours are in the same place mm. anyhow and. You know, after so many years, maybe they get more tighter and, and more defensive and... and uh... Okay, within, within the illusion, we can, we can talk about the movie, the drama, and what causes this, because the mind loves cause and effect. So there is no karma, in other words. Not at all. There is no my thoughts, your thoughts. Not at all. That's the thought. Yeah. That's the thought. That there's Jack yeah, having a thought, there's Richard way. having a thought. I mean, uh, why no, am I that's going down mi- my little no, road? That's, yeah, my that's, mind, okay. But that's your mind that... saying that that's her thought and that's my thought. Yeah. There is no her and mine. That's the thought. That's the thought to go for. Yeah. That's the thought to go for. That's the cause of suffering. The others are just the icing on top. The others will disappear if you go for the root. Whereas you mean if... you can just, I don't understand what you mean by go for it. So I just say, I just keep affirming that there's only one. Try it. Yeah. But every time. <laughs> what a good answer. Try it. <laughs> See, you know, you know, different things work for different people. But at the end of the day, that thought, to go to the root of that thought, that's like, there's a sense of me and my. It's like, oh, there it is again. When you observe something, you're not, you're not victim to that movie that's playing in your mind. So observing is the first distance. Whoa, there's the thought again. No. If you go to Observing the of that takes thought, a certain amount of space, right? Yeah, it does. There's a yeah. distance between you and it. So you have to get a little loose. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's so then right. once you get so into that observing mode. Identification has broken. Now you're just identifying with observing. Yeah. You're not observing. You're not yeah. in the belief that there's me and you and mine and separation and all that suffering. That's the package of suffering. So to get into the observer mode, you've got distance from the thought and you can see that it's a thought that I exist and you exist. I say, okay, that's a thought. I believe it, but it's just a thought. There's something believing it. So I'm going to observe that that's what's happening. That's not a bad place. It's not it, but it's not a bad place because it gives distance to the thought. So at least you're not feeding the thought. If you're not feeding yeah, the thought, feeding it's going to dissolve. It, right? It's going to dissolve. If you're not feeding it, it's going to dissolve. So it's almost like when people are saying the witness or something like yeah, that. Of yeah. course, you know, words yeah, like witness have been overused, so used yeah. it, you know, we all think yeah, we yeah. know what it means. And yeah, yeah. The mind witnesses. The mind observes. It's still the mind. It's always, it's the mind. It's, it's the witness. It's still the mind. But what Ramana Maharshi did, the, the, the magic man of this mountain, this, this village, go to the root of the thought, go to the source of the thought. If you bring your awareness to where did that thought arise from? It pops out of something, right? Yeah. So it pops something. out of nothing. Yeah. So then does he just mean stay in nothingness? Bingo. Or just, just, stay in, yeah. Bring just, your awareness back to where it popped out from. Dead oh, yeah. pan, flat. Oh, yeah. Nothing happened. That took me a long time to figure that out because okay. people saying go to the root of the thought, go who's the root of the I am or something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. And, I, and they just mean just to go to silence. I oh, think. yeah. It's silence. There's nothing happening then. Yeah. But if, if it's possible. <clears throat> and hang for, out there. Hang out there. Yeah. If it's possible to leave awareness there, the beliefs break up themselves. That'll put every psychotherapist out of business. The conditioning dissolves, the beliefs break up because the beliefs need a believer for them to, to continue, to maintain, to be there tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Stay at the root, at, in the place of silence, it breaks up. And you're really clearing things up because I mean, I think we've uh, talked about Ramana Maharshi for years, and uh, it just it was never put so succinct. So yeah, it's just, it's, it's so simple. And when you think <laughs> about it, the, the truth has to be simple, because it must be accessible to everybody in every culture. It's got to be just dead obvious, and it is so obvious that we miss it. It's so obvious that we think, I've yeah. got to read another book, do another seminar, I've got to clear this, I've got so much conditioning, so much beliefs. Forget it. Go to the source of the sense have a thought. Go to this. What's your next thought going to be, Richard? What's your next thought going to be? What happens, huh? 
There's all these blank spaces, these little openings, apertures to nothingness. Mind doesn't like it because you're annihilated there. The sense of I is annihilated. Mind doesn't like it. <laughs>